Donald Trump has accused Andrew McCabe and Rod Rosenstein of plotting treason against him. Former acting FBI Director McCabe has been drip-feeding revelations from his new book to the media over the past few weeks, including an assertion that Trump's decision to fire Comey in May 2017 sparked so much alarm within the agency that it led to discussions about invoking the 25th Amendment to remove him as president. He also claimed that Trump said he trusted Vladimir Putin more than U.S. intelligence when it came to the question of whether North Korean had the capability to hit the U.S. with ballistic missiles. Tweeting Monday morning, Trump said, wow, so many lies by now disgraced acting FBI director Andrew McCabe. He was fired for lying and now his story gets even more deranged. He and Rod Rosenstein, who was hired by Jeff Sessions, another beauty, looked like they were planning a very illegal act and got caught. There is a lot of explaining to do to the millions of people who had just elected a president who they really like and who has done a great job for them with the military, vets, economy and so much more. This was the illegal and treasonous insurance policy in full action Rosenstein repeatedly has denied he pursued or authorized recording the president and also has denied McCabe's suggestion that the deputy attorney general had broached the idea of invoking the Constitution's 25th Amendment, which allows cabinet members to seek the removal of a president if they conclude that he or she is mentally unfit. The Justice Department echoed both denials in a statement released last week, saying Rosenstein was not in a position to consider invoking the 25th Amendment. Yet McCabe said in the interview, Rod raised the 25th Amendment issue and discussed it with me in the context of thinking about how many other cabinet officials might support such an effort. He added that he believed Rosenstein was counting votes or possible votes to remove Trump from office. Fox News reported Sunday that Baker, in his testimony to Congress, provided even more details about the alleged 25th Amendment discussions, saying two cabinet officials were ready to support such an effort.